Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another huge little grocery haul for you. I've got absolutely loads of stuff to show you. I've got some reduced sticker bargains. I've got some middle of little deals. And I've also got the little weekly magazine that we'll be going through at the end of the video to see what bargains and offers are coming up in store. So stay tuned for that. So before we get into it, if you do, you do click subscribe for weekly videos. And if you enjoy this little grocery haul, nearly forgot what we're doing for a second then, then do give this video a thumbs up. Okay, let me show you my favourite thing. First of all, I have been into the middle aisle and I picked up this outdoor rug. So it's kind of like a plastic material, kind of woven with this nice pattern on it in grey. They also had them in pink and turquoise and these are 6 dollars size of this is 90 by 150 centimetres and great for outside, but I'm actually going to use this in the bathroom. I thought it'd be quite nice. Um, to have this as a rug in the bathroom. So that's the first thing that I got to show you. And then next up, we have some Greek bits. So they had the Greek theme going on and I picked up some of these olives. These are the whole Kalamata olives and you get 400 and 50 grams. Oh, so 250 grams once they're drained. They're in easy access tins, which we know <laughs> I like an easy access tin. I don't like faffing with those tin openers. Not that you'd be able to get a tin opener around that, I don't think. Um, and these were £1.99 each, which I thought was a really good price because I picked up some of those olives to do my baked feta recipe with in Morrison's and they were a lot more expensive in there. So absolute bargain. I also got some of the vine what are they called? Stuffed vine leaves with dill and what else is in there? And mint. And these are £1.29 for a tin as well. And these are delicious. Nice little snack to have outside in the sunshine. We've got the best weather here in the UK. Let me know where in the world you're watching from and what the weather is like where you are. They had Royal Jersey potatoes on offer. You know where you've got the four fruit and veg on offer in store. These were 69p for a bag, which I thought was really good value. So I picked up two bags of those. These are really nice to just do little roast potatoes with. I could put some olive oil on them, whack them into the oven, good to go. Easy cooking, that is what I like. I've got tree pollen stuck in my throat, so I apologize if my voice croaks throughout this video. That's the situation, there's tree pollen in the air. I got some large, no, they're not large. <laughs> I got some mixed size organic eggs. Um, you get six of these for £1.25, which I think is a good price. Definitely compared to somewhere like M&S, that's a lot cheaper. And these are mixed sizes, but they're all quite big. So they're not like the teeny tiny ones that you get in some stores when they say mixed sizes. They all seem like kind of large to me, which is good. Like my eggs large in the morning. I don't know why I just said that. I got some reduced sticker items, my favourite things to buy, especially ones that you can pop in the freezer. I don't think you can freeze this one, but this is a Sicilian cheesecake, and I thought that looked really nice anyway, and this was reduced down from, that's just the rug falling over and knocking you, sorry about that. Um, this is reduced from £2.79 to £1.95 which I thought was really good. Sometimes you can get a supermarket cheesecake and they're not very good for about two pounds, can't you? You know, the really cheap ones. That one looks like a good one. So I'll let you know how I get on with it. The Toblerone one was a winner, in case you watched my last little haul. Delighted with that. And they're still in the freezer section, so you might want to go and pop one into your trolley next time you go into store. Next thing I got was an absolute bargain. This is 20p, so it went in my basket regardless. Just the fact it was 20p, it got me excited. But it's mash. Mash Direct, cooked fresh on our farm, and these are potatoes. I can't quite read the full label because it's got the sticker on it, um, but these are like little kind of Rosties, um, I'm guessing. So I got two of those, 20p each, fantastic. I'm thinking, get one of those free range eggs, fry it, stick it on there with a bit of spinach. I don't even know what that meal would be. Would that be like a brunch? <laughs> I don't know, but that's what I've got in mind. We've got some, oh, I could add some of this as well just to make it a bit healthy. I probably won't, but I'm just saying these sort of things because you're watching. Um, we've got some tender stem broccoli here. This is the deluxe stuff. And I really like this. I feel like it lasts a bit longer in the fridge than the chopped broccoli that you can buy. When I buy that, I forget to use it and then the ends turn dark and I regret it. So this one, I tend to cook with a lot more. I reach for it a lot more. I even pop this in the frying pan sometimes when I'm making my breakfast and add a bit of broccoli into like a little 
fry up as well, and that was £1.25. I got some loose bananas. One of you mentioned that it's actually cheap to buy the bananas not in the bags, so I went for these ones and put them into the reusable bag that I actually picked up in Lidl last time I was there. 49p for two of these, really handy. And for these four bananas weighed on the scales, it was 51p, which is pretty good value, isn't it? I got some sponge scourers, you get six in a pack for 69p. And I go for this colour for the kitchen, and they've also got like pink ones with blue. And then they're quite good for the bathroom. Got a mango for 69p. It was another one of the fruit and veg um, for when you come in store. They've got an offer at the minute. So 69p, which I thought was really good. I got some of these microwavable packet rices. We've got the five whole grain ones. These are 65p each. Quite healthy and really nice to have in different meals. I quite like those for like a nice little lunch or just to have as a side for a dinner. And I got some other rice. This is 45p each. And I went for the pilau rice and I got two of those. Really nice if you make a little curry. Talking of which I picked up some corn pieces that I throw into the slow cooker with some curry sauce. I know. <laughs> and I make a curry with that and then add some chickpeas and do like a veggie curry which turns out really nice. I usually add some onion as well and some garlic and they do all the different corn things. They've got corn mints, they've got corn pieces and they've got corn nuggets which are really good as well. But I picked up these ones on this occasion and those are £1.69. Another reduced sticker item, I picked up some southern fried style chopped and shaped chicken in breadcrumbs and these were 70p. Just thought quite nice actually to take the park for a little picnic. I got a cheeky little Starbucks. These are 99p and I've gone for the Caramel Macchiato, which I haven't tried this one before, but sometimes when I'm doing a busy day of filming, I just flag and then if I've bought one of those and it's in the fridge, I always thank my past self and I'm delighted when I find them. So that's gonna be tucked away in the fridge for that minute when I'm in the middle of a DIY and it's gone wrong and I just need to reach for something. That will be a saviour in the week, I can guarantee it. Talking of saviours in the week, <laughs> I got some of these Greenalls Pink Gin in a Tin. These were £1.25. It says Wild Berry Pink Gin and Indian Tonic Water with Sugar and Sweetener. So they're not the healthiest, but as I say, little saviour in the week. Naughty. They had these Emmental cheese slices on offer for £1.49, which is really good. You get 400 grams, which is absolutely loads. So I'm thinking I'll make some nice little toasties with those. We could just put a slice on like a burger if you're having a barbecue, that sort of thing. Pop it on loads of stuff, couldn't you? I mean, lots of things are quite nice with just a bit of cheese slapped on the top. So, oh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I might be popping a bit of that cheese onto one of those Rosties, maybe between the fried egg and the Rosti. Does anyone get really hungry when you watch these? Because I get very hungry filming them. I got two of these Diet Coke bottles for £3.65 and this is two lots of 2.25 litres. So that's quite good value, I think. I'm not sure, actually. Is that good? I think it's good. They seem like really big bottles and that's... Um, under two pounds a bottle, so I think that's good. I got a bottle of Prosecco for 5 99 They've changed the bottle, it used to be orange, um, just FYI, in case you think it's different. It's the same brand as the orange one that they had, but it's now gold. So <laughs> there we go. And I also picked up a couple of bottles of this Chardonnay. This is the um, French Chardonnay, and this was on offer this weekend for £2.99, so I thought it would be rude not to try it. And I'm thinking, you know, even though this is quite a cheap wine, it was reduced from like the £4.49 mark, so it's probably not the highest quality. However, nice and cold, in the right glass, on the roof garden, I'll be in France, in a vineyard, and I won't think about the fact it costs £2.99, or the potential headache <laughs> I might get the next day. But, you know, these things have to be tried, and I tried the last one that was quite cheap as well, and it was actually fine, so... Let me know if you've tried the really cheap wine from Lidl and how you've got on with it. I got some triple chocolate cookies for 84p. These are really nice. I probably shouldn't have bought those, but here we are. We're in lockdown still, so you've got to treat yourself, haven't you? <laughs> That's my excuse anyway. I got some baby plum tomatoes for 72p. I put these into salads and I also make um, fried tomatoes as well when I have things like eggs on toast in the morning. Oh, the mango was 56p. I think I got that one wrong. 
rewind 56p for the mango and i got some asparagus tips for 75p these were also part of the four deals they've got this week along with some extra fine green beans and these are 89p and i love having these as part of a roast dinner so if i do like some roast chicken i'll have those with some roast potatoes delicious that's not really a roast dinner is it anyway side <laughs> vegetable side dish i got some more reduced sticker meat so i got some chicken breasts these were down to 70p which is really good value for two chicken breasts and the great thing about these is they are freezable so if you see them reduced you can pop them in the freezer and i also got some mints as well so this is the 20 percent fat mint so i wouldn't normally put this one in my basket but as it was only 70p i thought i could throw this in the slow cooker and then just drain off all of the fat before adding whatever cooking sauces or other bits and pieces I want to. So I've got two of those, again, which I will be popping in the freezer. I got the wholemeal seeded farmhouse loaf that I always pick up for 75p. And I got some coffee. I got this one, which I haven't tried before. I've tried their deluxe um, ground coffee before. I use a drip filter for this. But this one, I think, is new. It's the Indian blend. So I'm looking forward to trying that. It's a medium roast for this one. And that is £2.25. And then for the instant, I always go for this one, which I really like it's like the uh, Nescafe one but the uh, non-branded version and yeah this is kind of already ground so you can spoon it straight into your cup with hot water and then you're good to go with coffee and that is £2.19. I got a couple of these cans of ginger shots that I tried last time and they made my eyes water on camera so I won't try them with you today but these are 99 p each and they're really good they've got an apple in each one a large chunk of ginger and a quarter of tangy lemon so really nice I think someone in the comments said to me last time that I should add gin to it <laughs> which is a vibe but I'm gonna save those for the detox vibe in the mornings but you could do that if you want to. I got some chopped tomatoes, the easy access tin for 35p. And these are the ones that have herbs in there as well. And I got some bolognese sauce in a jar for 49p. And what I do with this is also use that in the slow cooker as well. So when I get that mince, I'll throw that in the slow cooker, drain the fat off, throw that in with some chopped onion, some garlic, and maybe some mushrooms as well. And it's a really easy way to do a spag bol. Then you just have to like throw in some pasta as well. You can even throw the pasta into the slow cooker too. So if you want to see some of my really easy slow cooker recipes, I've got lots of videos of those on my channel. So I'll link those in the description box for you. I got a tub of their luxury coleslaw for 65p. I feel like with summer like around the corner, well, it's really hot in the UK anyway. Um, this is really nice just to have like with salads or like on a side dish or like barbecue kind of vibe. It's delicious. You get 500 grams, 65p, absolute bargain. I quite like a cheese and coleslaw sandwich as well. So I might whack one of those cheese slices in with some coleslaw in that brown bread be delicious or I could make some cheese and coleslaw rolls because I got these for 20p again these are something that I could pop into the freezer really handy if you are having a barbecue or just to make little lunches with or even packed lunches if you are on the go and reduced to 20p yeah you can freeze these so really good they also had some gluten-free bread in store that was also reduced down to 20p I went for the rolls. I got two of their ready to eat avocados for £1.35 and I did try these out last time so I was saying how sometimes the avocados are not great and these ones have been really good. So the medium sized ones that say perfectly ripe on them have been a success so far. I keep them in the fridge and eat them within probably about two to three days and they've been absolutely fine. I got some strawberries for one ninety nine. These are really nice to have in breakfast or pop one in a glass of Prosecco. <laughs> or that pink gin whatever you fancy and i got one of these deluxe pizzas these are so delicious i got the char grilled vegetable and pesto one and these are three pounds 29 each i think it's really good value they're really tasty and they've got quite a few different varieties of those ones as well and then i got two of their naughty ultimate chocolate brownies which are 59p each and then for cooking, I've got some of these Easy Chilies and Easy Garlic. So these are 99p for a jar, and you just spoon them into dishes, so great for stir fries, making things in the slow cooker, or this garlic will be going onto the baked feta that I love to make. Really easy, spoon it straight out of the jar. And yeah, really handy to have in your store cupboard in amongst 
all your herbs and spices and that sort of thing. I got a couple more of these tins of gin. These are the gin with Sicilian lemon. So it says a refreshing breath. It says a refreshing blend of greenals, gin, Sicilian lemon juice, and soda water. I promise you haven't had any yet. I will do when I finish this video though. One of those and a chocolate brownie, what are you saying? Another store cupboard favourite, the mixed herbs for 79p. XL hummus for 99p. These are really handy just because they're so big and you can stack them up in the fridge and I like to have those with pita bread or carrot sticks or those rice cakes that I bought last time that you might have seen. Or the snack tastics, which I haven't bought again, the fake Pringles. I avoided them again. Are you proud of me? <laughs> I've got a cucumber for 59p, so I guess that would be quite good chopped up to dip into the hummus as well. I also like to chop that up into salads, obviously. And also I sometimes have it on toast with some feta and tomatoes sprinkled on top. I got this almond drink for 85p. So this is a nice alternative to have in your coffee instead of milk. And yeah, quite nice, it's quite thin, but I always give it a good shake before I use it. And then I got one of these chicken tikka masala sauces and this was 59p. I also got a whole chicken as well. I popped that straight in the fridge, but that was also in the reduced section. It's a free range one. The original price was £5.79 and that had a £2 sticker on and they had loads in store like that. So it's well worth looking out for those reduced stickers when you are in store. So that is all of my groceries. I hope you've enjoyed the haul. Now it's time to have a little flick through the Lidl Weekly with you and see what offers they've got coming up into store. So what I'm going to do is take the camera off the tripod and we'll have a little flick through together. So here we have the offers for Thursday the 28th of May to Wednesday the 3rd of June. So on the front here you can see there's lots of toys coming in store, which is great if you've got kids as we're heading into the summer, lots of things to keep them occupied. So let's just have a quick flick through. So we've got Swing Ball, that is an absolute classic game. I remember playing that as a kid and absolutely loving it. That is 17 99 so it's with a football on it then you've got this foam golf set for 14.99 you've also got a basketball hoop for 39.99 badminton set 9.99 performance kite for 9.99 and the glider plane for 7.99 these are great little presents as well if you've got any kids with birthdays coming up there's a kids picnic table that looks like it's got some play trays in it for 29 pounds a climbing frame which looks so cool that actually looks quite like a nice sculpture to have in the garden. I'm very impressed with that. £69 down from 199 And then this inflatable play set for £34. I can imagine that being loads of fun. It's like a mini bouncy castle. And then over here we've got kids' character tents for £9.99. Hopscotch um, for £17.99. I mean, you could just chalk that, I guess. But I guess it could be played inside as well. And then you've got a little scooter, £14.99 and one of these play tents with tunnels. I remember again those as a kid, 12.99. Very cool, and let's just go a bit quicker now, but we've got, oh, we've got the Teletubbies, and we've got Paw Patrol toys, and what else have we got going on here? Play-Doh, all sorts of cool toys, pet wrappables. I'm not sure what that is, but Lego in store as well. I didn't realize they did so many branded products. So some great stuff um, coming in for kids. If you have got children, as well as some branded kids clothing sets for $3.99. And licensed rugs. Oh, now this is fantastic. They have got the all-purpose plant and veg feed from miracle Grow coming into store for $2.99. Definitely look out for that. You may know that I've recently worked with miracle Grow, and I highly recommend them for the results that I've been getting on my roof garden. If you want to check out that vlog, I'll link it down in the description box. They've also got fruit plants coming into store for £2.49, including tomatoes, geraniums, strawberries, coffee, and banana plants. That looks fab. They've also got these pink kisses, really pretty. They've got these that look like sunflowers, multiflora, uh, 4 dollars 2 dollars And they've also got the hydrangea. Now, if you've seen the hydrangea in my garden, which has come back year after year, they are incredible. $6.99, such a bargain. Highly recommend those. Definitely pick one up if you are in store and pop some of this in it and you will be very, very happy with the garden. So they've got the Asia theme from the 28th of May. So we've got curry going on. We've got some nice little sagaloo bites, that sort of thing. Some different ready meals by the looks of it. 
and we've got fresh coriander and then we've got things like chilies and coriander in the jars for 89p they've got these goza is it do you say goza dumplings i'm not sure um chicken and pork 400 grams one pound 69 they look incredible very tempted to get those if i see them in store and these salmon fillets with teriyaki sauce also look delicious 2.99 We've got dim sum selections for 2 49 All of this looks really good and you could kind of do a little takeaway at home with all of that and have a nice little themed evening. We've got different varieties of stir fry veg, 85p and 89p, which seems really good value. And they've got udon noodles as well, which are one of my favourites for 79p as well as soba noodles for 99p they've also got thai curry kits for 199 which sounds really good maybe something that i could use up the chicken with that i've got now in the freezer and then we've got various different spices and sauces as well and then the coconut ice cream £2.19 and chang beer which is really good for 99p oh prawn crackers i'm getting so hungry going through this right now they've got fair trade chocolate bars for 199 explaining how it's got a better deal for the cocoa growers and then on to some craft stuff this is exciting they've got some craft books so you've got handmade home and a crochet book here and then you've got craft sets including build your own rocket paint your own unicorns and balloon modeling so lots of fun things to do with kids as well as sticker books for 199 and then over this side we've got duct tape which obviously has loads of different uses for £2.79 craft paper and card 199 Coloured pencils, and this is a good brand, isn't it, for £3.49. And then you've got a sewing starter kit for £3.99 and various sewing equipment for 89p and wrapping paper for 99p. They've got this galvanised steel shelf. I'm actually quite tempted to pick one of these up to have up in the loft or even on the roof garden. I think that would look quite cool if you put loads of plants on it and styled it up. And for £14.99, I think that's a really good price. And this would fit crates on it quite nicely and be really strong in your shed or your garage. They've also got speciality sockets and spanners. Whoa there, I can feel you all getting very excited now. They've also got coloured lacquer. We've got anti-rust metal protection paint. These things are so random, but then if you need them, so handy. Also paint roller sets, probably a good quality roller there for 2 99 It looks like you get quite a few in that pack as well. So if you are doing any decorating, that seems like quite a good value little kit there. And then onto the pick of the week, we've got Cod Phillips 2 99 We've got British Beef Rump Steaks for 9 99 You get five of those, so great if you're having a barbecue. We've got Spicy British Beef Burgers, £2.69. So lots of barbecue style stuff. Chicken breast and sirloin steak, 2 99 That seems like a quite a good price, doesn't it? And a spatchcock chicken for £3.49. And then on to some other deals, we've got spring greens, 300 grams for 49p. Courgettes for 99p. Let me know what you call those if you're watching from the US. And then you've got brown onions for 49p. That seems really good. Avocado to 69p. And then you've got fun size cucumbers, so the little baby ones, 69p. And these tomatoes, I love these ones on the vine, the British Piccolo tomatoes, 250 grams for 99p. It says here it's British tomato fortnight from the 25th of May to the 7th of June. The perfect time to try one of our five delicious British tomato packs. Love tomatoes when they're extra ripe. And then the super weekend, which is the 29th to the 31st of May, we have smoky barbecue pulled pork, 400 grams for £1.79. Good one for the freezer. Gold tea bags for 47p. We've got a baklava selection, 200 grams for £1.39. And chocolate muesli bars or the apple cranberry or hazelnut or chocolate and banana. Now we're talking <laughs> for 79p. You get eight 25 gram bars. And finally, we have wine and it looks like a rose, which is pleasingly greatly. 
three pounds 49 i think we could have rosé all day for that price so there we go i really hope you enjoyed this little grocery haul let me know in the comments down below if you do your shopping in lidl what you thought of everything that i bought any recipe ideas are always welcome and let me know if you'd like me to keep on doing these because it's quite easy to film them once i've been to do my grocery shopping and i miss doing hauls usually i would do different shopping hauls and with lockdown that hasn't been an option really so i'm quite happy to share with you my food shop for the time being but do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye